Hello friends and once again welcome to BISPSolutions.com My name is Amit and today we are going to see an advanced analysis in OBA using HR data model which we have been working since beginning in advanced query design technique I am going to show you how to implement nested query in analysis though there are multiple ways to implement nested query in today's example I am going to show you how to apply nested query in analysis so let's understand the requirement the requirement is like this we need to identify the list of employees those salary is greater than average salary of all the employees we're doing a kind of benchmarking and identify the employee who are drawing more salary than average salary of all the employees and therefore we are going to use this our employee direct and indirect expense model the one which we prepared in many of our previous examples so employee direct and indirect expense model we got employee expense fact that employee personal detail types of expenses time dimension and employee GL details general ledger from financial hierarchy and employee personal detail and position detail we build this model and implement a state query so let's first build this model because our focus area is to build an asset query uh, when you build our model we will keep them in a same way in a business model mapping and presentation layer I'm using Oracle data source and using OCA as a connection this is my HR model and and my connection SID name is ORCL before you actually connect you can act connect to your HR model and query it the list of dimension and facts you have so you can query like this select table from user underscore tables you got 70 dimension and facts right let's bring them what is it what we needed so in our example we need employee personal detail and expense details so employee personal detail we get from employees employee dim uh, employee expense detail which you get from sorry this is HR model employee personal detail employee expense types of expenses expense unit um, then we need time dimension the bottom we got time and then we account hierarchy general ledger so account type account class and account name lookup tables and I bring this into my source layer into my database Oracle RPD I mean OBA RPD and because we go by uh, in the same way without making any modification you can right click and visualize the model this is our model so we have employee expense types of expenses type of expense employee personal detail account structure and time dimension in this example I'm going to keep my model in the same way not simplifying in the subsequent example we'll see how to sim further simplify this model because our focus area is to implement nested query We'll keep this model the same way. It is recommended to apply a row count on your dimension. In fact, this way you ensure that your OBI metadata is in line, in sync with your underlying source system. You can also look at view data just to make sure your OBI is able to communicate to data source. This is done. Now I go to answer and refresh our model it is all the one which you see is already exist you should refresh your source layer we do this in two steps first we need to identify list of employees whose salary is greater than average salary so I apply inner query will display average salaries of all employees then write main query which will return list of employees 
whose salaries where salary is greater than inner query one which return average salary okay so let's do this way first we write inner query in inner query i need to apply employee expense i did not aggregate employee expense because i want to aggregate over here i apply average employee expense where expense type is pay we have got different kind of expenses so i apply expense type and they support different language as pay then filter we got salary bonus benefits i confine my focus to pay so you see average of all the employees pay right we save this as inner query i'm going to overwrite my existing query inner query then i create a main query which will display employee personal details like employee name uh, salary city first name last name display first name last name city uh, employee expense and this time employee expense total total salary so i apply aggregation as sum although each employee salary would be displayed we don't have duplicate records just to make sure and this value should be greater than i apply filter and here is the moral of the story i apply employee salary should be greater than greater than any based on result of another analysis i select inner query over here right and i select a column called average expenses so here i find a list of employees whose salary is greater than the output of inner query and name of column is expense total and run this i find list of employees whose salary is greater than average salary of all the employees you can i let me save this first and then we can look at the query to see the complete 360 degree view of our analysis so my this is my query i copy this sql query and keep it over here and then we see this query along with our output right so this is our criteria this is our query we display employee total salary first name last name where my salary is total salary is greater than average salary in this example average is taken 2542 which is constant which is coming from inner query output if you look at inner query you find inner query return this value 2542 is an average salary and the list of employees whose salary is greater than average salaries greater than average salary right this is how you can apply nested query the basic example in a subsequent session i show you more advanced example about writing hr model preparing creating hr model so subscribe to our youtube channel and access more than 1000 videos about different bi products uh, should you have any question please feel free to write to us our site is bisp training and bisp solution.com thank you